My name is Charlotte and I work in the historic clothing department at the New Canaan Museum and Historical Society in Connecticut. Okay, I'm really going to embarrass myself in this video, but we all have off days and hopefully you guys can laugh about this with me. Maggie and I took forever to photograph this dress. It looked so ugly, we could not figure out what was wrong with it and maybe in this video you can tell why already. The dress is from around 1900 and the bodice was actually on backwards. There, I said it. We put the bodice on the wrong way and I literally could not believe that we had ever even considered putting it on backwards. But there you have it. Here we kind of realized our mistake and then we were so frustrated with ourselves that we had to take a five minute break while Mike had unscrewed something from the neck of the mannequin. So here we are just laughing at ourselves. Once we actually got the dress on the mannequin the correct way, we secured it so that it was ready to be photographed and then we fluffed out the skirts and photographed it from all different angles. So you can see that process here. I think in hindsight, it was the end of the day. We filmed this before Christmas, so we had probably been photographing a million dresses before this from several different time periods, and I think in my head, I just really liked the X on the front of the dress instead. But as you can see in this clip, it is a pigeon-breasted bodice because it is from around 1900, so obviously that makes way more historic sense. The waistline of the mannequin was slightly smaller than the skirt itself, so we had to pin it in order to keep it up but we tried not to disturb the pleating and the overall effect of the dress. You can see up close on the edge of the bodice, there is a row of sequins and ribbon, which is really cool. And then here on the skirt, you can actually see that the pleats only go partway and then the rest of the skirt is steamed out to create a smoother effect at the hem and the train. I also love the pleating on the front of the bodice. Clearly a lot of effort was put into the manufacturing of this dress. And the dress does close right down the front, but it is hidden by the pleats in the center. And yes, I think the lace would have been lighter when it was originally worn, but fabric does sometimes discolor over time. I also love these little pleated bows and details on the top of the bodice and the waist. And then these are the final photos of the dress that we will use in our database and in the virtual aspect of the show that is opening in May. Thanks for watching.